All right, good afternoon. Uh, this is Mark with the uh, Incognito Astronomer, and this is my new camera. This is a Uranus C camera from Player One Astronomy. Um, I'm going to be opening it up. Um, it was shipped, I ordered it on the 25th of May, um, 2022. Um, it was shipped the 5th of June is when I got shipping notification and today is the 13th of June. So it took uh, eight days to arrive here from China. Um, it was shipped uh, FedEx and there were no issues with shipping. It arrived uh, on time, um, no problems. So I'm gonna open up this outer box here if I can. Hopefully I didn't just hurt anything in there by going too deep, but I think I'll be okay. Oh yeah, lots of good packing in there. So, open that up. All right, so inside the outer package is the inner package. Um, wrapped in some bubble wrap there. Not too bad, but it's a pretty good fit to the plastic and the uh, sorry to the uh, container here um, it's actually a very very tight fit so not a lot of shaking um, and it is listed as the Uranus C um, IMX 585 chip camera from player one astronomy um, I'm gonna open this, this shrink packaging Only get to do this once, so got to make sure. So here now the uh, box has this slide-out function, sort of like a container, which is pretty cool. All right, so there's that. All right, inside the package we have the air bulb which is good for uh, spraying off any dust particles that might have gotten onto the sensor. Hopefully this is still centered okay. Um, we have what looks to be a cord for guiding. Uh, we've got our USB cable. We have some Allen wrenches, which are in here. Um, and that's because the sensor has uh, the need for Allen keys. All right, and then we have the actual sensor itself, which is right here. Now, the first impression I have um, taking this, so yeah, SD4 port, that's what the uh, one thing was. Uh, first impression I have here is that it's fairly solidly built. Um, I do like the, uh, the the build quality looks really, I mean it's got a good heft in my hand. Um, sensor is I'm going to unscrew this so you can get a good view of the sensor. Um, the sensor is a one 1 slash 1.2 um, inch. Not exactly sure how those how those work, but um, the sensor is right there. Hopefully, it's a good view of the sensor. Um, it is definitely far larger than the sensors the sensor that I have in my other camera. Okay, so we're going to kind of continue this here. Um, I went and got my uh, prior sensor which is a IMX290, which is on the SV Boney uh, 305. This is a 305 non-pro, this is what I've been using. Um, it also has a one and a quarter inch adapter to go into an eyepiece holder. Um, the, there is an IR cut filter built in to an SV Boney, so if there's any kind of a reddish tint there, that's what that is. It's kind of difficult to see the sensor sizes, but if I sit and try to put these on top of each other, you can definitely tell how much bigger the sensor is 
on the Uranus C cam. Um, the, I mean, it's, it's at least, I'm gonna say it's four times the size um, of the 290. I'm pretty sure that when I did the math on it, that's what it turned out to be. It's at least three times, I think it's four times bigger, which is going to be exceptionally great for um, my imaging that I'm doing um, as far as finding targets. Uh, that's one of the issues that I've had with the, the 290, IMX 290. Um, it's a very small chip. Um, I have to use a lot of focal reduction because um, I'm using a Celestron C5 uh, cast grain, which is a native F10 scope. Um, because of that, I have a 6.3 focal reducer, and I also put a additional 0.5 reducer uh, screwed into the nose piece of the camera uh, to image, just to get some things so they I can find them in the field of view. Um, it does cause um, some big netting and um, definitely some oblong stars. You can definitely tell, especially in the corners of the field. There's definitely something going on. Uh, I'm hoping that with the Uranus C camera, I can uh, avoid the second of the two um, focal reducers and just use the 6.3 reducer and have good results. Uh, but yeah, this is really exceptional. Um, the, um, this camera was on sale for $399. It just came out last month. Um, so I purchased it for $399 US dollars. Um, and it, it's a, uh, I'm going to put up some pictures later on um, to compare with the sensor I had in the SV Boney. Um, this camera was $140, like $140, $150. Um, this was my first astro astronomy, dedicated astronomy camera that I purchased. And so far, I've been very pleased with how it's performed. I mean, I'm not going to knock this SV Boney. I think this is a great camera for a beginner, um, especially people on a budget. Um, I am on a budget. Um, I like the Player One. Um, the quality of their stuff, based on what I've seen and what I see right now, is doubly reinforces that. This stuff is very solidly built. Um, I think I'm going to be quite happy with it. Um, so the next video I put out is uh, going to be me uh, setting up in my backyard here at my home um, outside of uh, Toledo, Ohio, which is a pretty urban area. Um, my skies are roughly a Bortle 7, Class 7. Um, and honestly, you know, I've been amazed with what I can pick up with the less expensive camera. I'm going to see what I can do with this. So um, to everybody there out there watching, hopefully I've got some people that tuned in to see this unboxing video. I appreciate your time. Um, if you like what you saw, I'm going to be coming out with some more stuff. So uh, have a great rest of your day, everyone. And it was a pleasure to open this box in front of y'all. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye-bye now.